Hi, this is Paul. I wanted to do uh, three sports stories. And, okay, and let me do the first one. The first one is going to be about the Super Bowl, which was last Sunday. Okay, and, of course, Tom Brady and the New England Patriots. Uh, it was a hell of a game. Uh, Atlanta came out to a big lead, but New England stormed back, and they won. And Tom Brady won his fifth Super Bowl ring. Now, I always put Joe Montana in my eyes ahead of Tom Brady. He had four Super Bowl rings. He was 4-0 in Super Bowls. Now, always, and I saw him play growing up. So I always held Joe Montana to the like the gold standards of quarterbacks, in my opinion. But I have to reconsider that with Tom Brady, what he did, winning his fifth Super Bowl ring after being in seven of them, and of course losing two of them to my Giants. But what he did, that comeback that he did, was unprecedented in Super Bowl history. And you just have to give Tom Brady props, because if he didn't, as much as Atlanta choked, New England and Tom Brady specifically brought his team back. So I have to give him props for doing that. And he won, he's got five Super Bowl rings, him and Belichick. And he's been to seven Super Bowls and won five of them. I have to give him props. Tom Brady, in my opinion, is the greatest quarterback in, in the modern era, in my opinion. Okay? I have to give him props. As much as I can't stand New England, but I have to give Tom Brady props. Because if he didn't make that comeback in that game, that to me just cemented his legacy. So there that is. Now, the second story I want to talk about was Charles Oakley. He uh, got arrested. He was a former Nick, uh, played Nick, for, Nick, played for the Knicks teams back in the 90s. And he had a great run with the Knicks when the Knicks were coached by Pat Riley. And they were like that real rough and tumble team. And they had it, they were known for being, playing tough, real tough defense. And their only really strong offensive I, um, player was Patrick Ewing, of course, John Stocks here and there with the three pointers. But they were more of a defensive team. And you know, they were, and Charles Oakley was a big part of that. He was more, you know, you know, grab the nasty rebounds and defend, play killer defense. And he was uh, uh, the heart and soul or the lunch pail type of guy for the Knicks. And of course, earlier this week, he uh, was at the Garden. And he's, in the past, I guess, had an acrimonious relationship with the Knicks, specifically with the Knicks management, uh, because he's been overly critical of them. Uh, and, of course, apparently they said uh, the Knicks, when they released a statement saying that Charles Oakley was being belligerent because uh, the owner, James Dolan, was, excuse me, yeah, James Dolan, right? Yeah, was sitting uh, in, in the front row, and Charles Oakley was sitting a couple rows behind him, and apparently they said he was yelling at them, being cursing, using profanity, being, causing a disruption. Of course, then security came over to him, and, and after a few, sh a lot of shoves and a lot of struggling, he was picked up literally and carried out and uh, got arrested. And, of course, now he came out later saying that, that he was only in the seat for like four minutes and before people came up to him and, and that's why he was being outrageous and, and they uh, squirted him out. Now, of course, Charles Brock Oakley was wrong, excuse me, by putting his hands on security. They were just basically doing their job. Whether he was screaming at them, screaming at Charles Dolan or not, uh, excuse me, James Dolan. Well, I keep saying Charles Dolan. Uh, Charles Dolan's the father. Uh, James Dolan or not, he shouldn't put his hands on security people. They were just doing their job. Now, do I believe that, that James Dolan <laughs> doesn't like Charles Oakley because he thinks he's crazy and stuff? That I believe. Okay. Whether Charles Oakley was yelling at him or not, that's up to debate. I guess you only you can have, if you have witnesses that will come out and say that were around him that can say that he was not because he said he wasn't. But in any event, I know he has an acrimonious relationship. Now, now he said in, in an interview since he's been arrested that he would like to sit down and I guess you sit down in a room with James Dolan, which I don't think is ever going to happen, and discuss things. But, but in any event, as much as I love Charles Oak, Oakley, and I do, I loved him as a player, you're not supposed to put your hands on security. Him shoving them around and, and then that that was outrageous. But again, the Knicks shouldn't approach him, I think, the way they approach him. They should have just had, I think, the security guard come up to him or just somebody, you know, instead of being an adversary relationship, really, just come up to him and say, listen, uh, Mr. Oakley, can we talk to you for a minute? And just pulled him to the side. You know, just sent one guy up there, even one of the guys in the office that he knows, just tell him. And th I think that, could have, that whole situation could have been avoided. But it is what it is. So hopefully now, maybe they, the next, and maybe they will sit down, and James Dolan and uh, Charles Oakley, and maybe hash their differences out. Because I know Charles Oakley really wants to be a part of the Knicks because he, he really wants to, to help the franchise. and. And I think he does have something to contribute, so hopefully maybe they'll resolve that. Now, the third story I wanted to talk about was uh, Kevin Durant. They played. They went. To, he went back to OKC on Saturday, yesterday, uh, to you know the team that he left. 
to go to the Golden State Warriors. And of course, let's say, let's be honest, the Golden State Warriors are they're super talented. And they're more likely going back to the finals. And of course, they, they blew out OKC. And now, I know a lot of people, specifically Stephen A. Smith, was upset with Kevin Durant for going to join Golden State because he said their team, he joined a team that beat them. I said, I never had a problem with it. Kevin Durant. He's a free agent. He can go where he wants to go. Okay, that's the power of you know, free agency. He can go where he wants to go. So I, I never had an issue with that. And so to me, Kevin Durant is doing what he wants to. He wants to win a ring. And he feels Golden State is the best chance for him to get one. So I never had an issue with him going to Golden State. And okay, so for all the people who say, uh, uh, the old, all the old school people who couldn't travel, who couldn't, or free agency wasn't the way it is now, they couldn't move to different teams. They had to stay, basically stay with their same team. I say, get over it, okay? He went to the team that gives the best chance to win, okay? Same thing with LeBron did when he went to Miami, and then, of course, when he went back to Cleveland and, and brought Kevin Love to be there with Ky Kyrie Irving, got other pieces, okay? When other people did, now don't be hypocrites and criticize Durant when he does it, okay? That's all I got to say about that. So anyway, let me know what you think of these three stories about, you know, Tom Brady, where you think he's the GOAT now, about Charles Oakley and the James Dolan situation. What do you think of that? And also, ultimately, about Kevin Durant, okay, about him joining Golden State. What do you think of it? Uh, okay. Uh, feel free to let me know. And feel free to leave comments down below. And if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button down below. And this is Paul saying so long and take care.